Remind us of place when we forget. May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Need something? Lokan is a limitation. In creating Nern, he destroyed or transformed the existing gods into the ones the world knows today. Each god's powers became limited. The Daedra laughed at the gods for giving up their power and created their own realms. The elves believe they were cast out of heaven by this act and have called Lokan the trickster ever since, hating him for what he had done. Some say Lorcan's heart is Nern itself and cannot be destroyed without destroying Nern. The moons above Nern are his flesh. He sees all. Others call him the Missing God. Some believe he cannot stay long in any one place due to the transformation he went through when creating Nern. Another story tells of Lorcan leading armies of men against the elves a long time ago. He is defeated by the elves, who rip out his heart, but find they cannot destroy it, for Lorcan's heart is the heart of Nern. So they hide it, so men may never find their god's heart, or use it against them. It is after these ancient events we start hearing about aspects of Lorcan appearing under different names to fight on the side of men. Names Lorcan has been associated with include Shizar, who is venerated in the Colovian West for helping fight the Aelids. Pelinol Whitestrake, also known as the Divine Crusader, also helped Alessia in the rebellion against the Aelids. It is almost certain that the Knights of the Nine you spoke of would have known this, 